We're working on a stab for an hourglass here. This one's the hourglass three, the, the big one. Uh, but what I wanted to go over is how how I make my outlines for, for stabs because the way they work is they're tapered from their deepest point right here, maximum bending stress, out to really, really skinny at the tips. And uh, so this is 065 deep, uh, is 030 deep out here. And it's all cut from um, 030 inch sheet. Uh, so in terms of this dimension going around, it's the same all the way around. But the, the issue is, so we're tapered out to a thin spot here, and then we're tapered out to a thin spot. Um, and I find this to be the hardest join to make. So what I do is beforehand, I take these, these two when they're straightened out, and I join this right here. And I join it with, with CA, I mean, it's just a butt join. So what I do is that after I've got my two spar assemblies, I wet them out over there. Um, wet them out over there. And then, instead of starting at one end and working way around, because I don't know where that middle point's gonna go, I actually tape the thing here. So I carefully, uh, with one hand, stand that thing up. And uh, if, if you're careful, it'll, it'll support its own weight. You may have to hold it out like this. But the point is you tape it in place and then holding it like this so the other part is dangling down, you can work that piece back across, tape it, and then once it's secure, you can wrap the other one around. Um, once I've done this, the, because of the, the sheer size, I actually had to uh, scab in an extra piece here, and I'm actually going to show doing that. Uh, if you're building an hourglass too, which if you build a, an unlimited, um, don't build the hourglass three. This is this is like um, you borderline need to be able to design your own airplane to to attempt something like this. Uh, hourglass two is uh, is extreme, but it's it's doable. Whereas this is just sheer insanity. Uh, but what I'm doing is I'm cutting this extra piece to size, and fitting it in here, maybe. Um, and then what I'm going to do, there are a lot of ways to do it. This is probably the worst. Uh, I'm doing a floating stab, so strength in this region actually is not as critical as, as you'd think because there are going to be bracing wires running out. Um, what I'm doing is I'm putting uh, wax paper in here uh, to keep this from bonding to the form. I don't know why I'm setting up to try to reuse this. I, I seriously doubt that I'll ever build another model this size. Famous last words. Anyway, uh, there you go. Uh, once you've got that, now I can take my, where are they, my stab ribs. Um, I think those are the correct ones. I can start cutting them to size and 